in Birmingham tonight. To mark the occasion, thousands of pieces of sports equipment and clothing have been donated to schools and clubs in the city. Yes, it's hoped it'll help more children keep active, as Mike Bushell has been finding out. Christmas has come early for thousands of youngsters across Birmingham, helping themselves to a treasure trove of equipment and clothing, enabling their sporting dreams. And volunteers who help them get into the sport can now do so with everyone properly kitted out. To get this, I've been quite choked all week about it because to make it a team. Such a massive difference to the school. The kit we've got at the school, we just about get by with every week. And now the kids having this kit are going to be so proud. It's been amazing because it's like Christmas early and this kit's going to make an amazing a big difference. Having these new kits will make us um, play better because we've um, got the actual kits. It all started in October when 50 collection cages were set up around Birmingham. The city chosen because it's hosting the sports personality of the year ceremony. An appeal went out to get people to fill the cages with their unwanted sporting items. We want your old sport kit. And the response was overwhelming. And some of the stuff we have is absolutely out there. We could do four or five Olympic Games with all the sports at the same time. We've got ice skates here, Louise Minchin, thank you very much. There were your daughters, they've been donated. Hockey sticks galore, tennis balls, tennis rackets, badminton rackets. It's absolutely amazing. Donated items have also included Dame Kelly Holmes's trainers and some of the kit we've used in breakfast's sporting features. We have a pair of goggles as featured in the bog snorkelling piece that I did a few years ago in Wales. I have cleaned them up now so the goggles can go in. Not just any old frisbee, this is a, an ultimate frisbee used in the World Championships freestyle frisbee competition. The Reclaim Sport project has been run by the BBC Get Inspired team in partnership with the City Council and Sport Birmingham, with Olympic gold medalists helping to sift through it all. Sorting dirty socks. <laughs> I think this is what these are for. Oh, it's so important. I actually got given my first stick from my coach. Honestly, clung onto it. I had one stick, one ball in my room all the time, literally just playing the whole time. My parents hated it. I'd be playing in my bedroom, I'd be smashing the walls. But, um, you know, you kind of forget that some people don't have that kind of opportunity and that privilege to get given a stick. We all know how children grow out of things so quickly. Why can't we just collect them in and give them to others that need them? More than 80 schools and community sport clubs across Birmingham are now getting the donations. And some even got their hands on the coveted sports personality trophy. Not that they get to keep this bit of equipment, though. Mike Bushell for BBC News. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> uh, weather time. Now, Jay has the details 